That's it. Go, go in the oven. Go in the oven. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out the pizza. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait one second. Pino, you need to be fast right here. Take a look at this pizza. Welcome back from my street to Copelli. Today, it's a crazy day. We are serving 1,300 people. Everywhere, people, look at this. People there, people there. Show, show the pizza, please. Take a, from the oven, directly. Do it everywhere. I'm going to show you how to make 1,000 people, or maybe how to serve 1,300 people. I prepare 1,000 pizzas, guys. Everything by myself, I can't wait to show you. And also, we did two catering, so, after this, I'm going to the second one. So please, guys, watch until the end. Smash the like and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Enjoy this video from my street to Copelli. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to show you and teach you how to make the pizza dough. Of course, in this channel, everything is uh, free. No secrets. And of course, guys, uh, voila, it's about 7 p.m. And now is the right time to go ahead and buy some more ingredients. Of course, I got already uh, almost everything ready. We got all the cheese, we got a couple of the ingredients, we got parmesan, some pepperonis, we got already all the cheese cut. This is fresh mozzarella, I got already uh, cut in a location because it was way too much. 1,300 people tomorrow, so it's gonna be tough. Let me go ahead and uh, buy some more ingredients so, and then we're gonna go ahead and prepare some polish for uh, tomorrow because the polish needs to be ready the day before. So today, tomorrow is going to be a super interesting day. Let's go. And, uh, here we go, my favorite store to make uh, for grocery shopping for the catering. Let's go. Look at this, nice, clean. They have big portion at a good price. Let's go ahead and let's get everything. Oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. They finally, for the first time in America, look, finally, Muti brought the big, the big one. We got the big one, finally. Thank you so much, Muti. My favorite sauce now available for the catering because I used to get always a lot of small, but now, this is the this is the best, so I'm gonna get a bunch of those. Oh, that's it, they finish everything. With uh, one of these, you can make about 45 pizzas. So we're gonna make a thousand pizzas. Four, eight, let's say 50, let's say 50. No, wait, wait, guys, go ahead. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. If they're not in my favorite one is that this. Let's get more of this. Here we go guys, now we have everything. We also got the wood because this is something that's super important to find a store that also have wood. Let's go pay and see what's next. Get a nice espresso before we start the day. Here you go guys, my Polish is here. Uh, right now it's 8 a.m. I have to make uh, eight times the dough. So to be able to make uh, all these thousand pizzas. Plus we have another catering at night. It's gonna be a tough day. So I'm gonna get just the important part of this uh, journey. I'm gonna use this Polish that I made yesterday with a total of five liters. So I'm gonna, do a, I'm gonna go ahead and use a quarter each dough. So just a little bit as a yeast to be able to to use this at 3 p.m. because the, the catering starts at 3. Because we're gonna do eight pizza dough, I'm gonna put it all in order. I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase the salt each dough because the salt slows down the fermentation. Let's make the first dough. I got a lot of things to do. So here, how it works. Open up the machine. Let's go ahead and let's add the, the flour that we need. So I'm gonna make eight uh, uh, liters. And then of course I go by highs because uh, I have experience on the, how much flour goes in a liter. So may you make sure to scale it because uh, to be honest, I don't have time right now to go and scale everything. A little bit of polish. That's good, done. Now we have the polish and the flour. Let's go ahead, let's mix up everything one second. Okay, so now in this dough, because it's the first, we're gonna increase the salt. So in this case, we're gonna put uh, 380 grams of salt. 
mix everything up and let's add eight liters first always super cold water let's integrate the flour with the water a few minutes now we wait uh, that the water and the flour and everything gets together now we're gonna add uh, another extra four liters little by little and then we're gonna save uh, uh, one liter for the really end of the dough so this whole process is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes I'm gonna show you uh, just this dough how how I make it and then of course I'm gonna go ahead and do speed up the things because uh, you know everything by myself is uh, super tough so hopefully you enjoy this smash the like please share it's totally free it's totally free and uh, by sharing you support my channel thank you so much guys because we're making eight times the dough the time when it needs to be ready is going to be different so what we're doing on the last one i'm increase uh, i'm decreasing the hydration and increasing the salt this is gonna slow down the fermentation by a lot that uh, is my experience of uh, my knowledge of uh, 30 years of experience i don't have any fridge so luckily today is not a super hot day and uh, we are good here you go water is absorbed now let's go ahead and let's add the last little water super little by little so we're gonna add like a, just a little bit and then wait that the dough absorbs the water and then we go ahead and uh, add more Here you go guys, number one, it's built, uh, it's built, it's ready and now let's go ahead and let's stick it out and I'm gonna go ahead and start more. Okay, now that we put the first dough on the counter, let's go ahead and let's put uh, extra virgin olive oil on top. Uh, try to put uh, olive oil everywhere, this is gonna create a nice layer. So now let's go ahead and let's create a bowl. Imagine I'm gonna make eight of these and I have only one hour one hour and a half to make it Ooh. so I'm gonna go ahead and make the second one and then I'm gonna boil it and then I'm gonna, gonna make the third one I'm gonna go ahead and cover up this and now we let it rest for about uh, uh, well, well we don't have one hour so about 30 minutes the time the, to make the second and the third Ooh. Guys, the current situation is that I'm done with uh, number three. So in the meantime, I'm making some couple of balls that I want to show you really quick. Let me finish this. We got this dough, there's number two that is done. This dough that is about to be done, this is number two. Those are the balls that I made. Ta -ta -ta, this is the dough, that's how elastic it is whoa that's what we want okay guys of course we don't have space for 1000 balls so how we do this pay attention because if you make a lot of pizza this is important so there we go we have a container like that you're gonna put it in the container. So a little bit of uh, olive oil in the container. Grab the dough that you have, make it a ball. This is the more harder one. So now, a little bit of uh, olive oil on top. Whew. Keep in mind this, because I'm going to tell you what to do and how, and how to manage this dough uh, one, uh, once we made, uh, we are making the balls. Because, uh, well, I explain to you when we get there. I think we are ready to get everything uh, ready and put it in the car. So let's go ahead and let's, Fill up the car. I love you. Bye bye. Okay, play Christy. Let's take this video. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, we are ready. Uh, just take a shower because we fill up the car. Crazy, insane. Have we got the oven already? Of course, right there. Like you can see, we got the tent. We got all the dough box. That's the cheese. The cooler for the ingredients. Tables. More dough. More wood. I mean everything, car is filled up, that's for the second catering, we got the gas, also we got a second oven, like you can see there is the second pizza oven, watch until the end, please invest your time because this is going to be insane, everything right here, 
Let's get this pizza over. Voila guys, we got a little bit late, it's 11.42 and uh, the first catering starts uh, at uh, 3 p.m. and I think we have time and uh, we have to do the second, uh, the second one at 6.30 p.m. start. We're gonna try to serve 1,300 people. So we are gonna serve 1,300 guests today. Ready, yes. Are we ready? Let's do it. We'll see. Well, four people. Well, you guys can, can come before and help me to make this boss, man. Let's get to 1 million subscribers. Let's go! We made it, we made it. That was tough, but we made it. Oh yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go do this setup. We are really late. It's like 1 p.m. We have two hours to make this happen. 1 p.m. guys. So much stuff every time in LA. My God, look at this. 1 p.m. And look. Okay guys, the first thing to do here is fire up the oven because it's already super late before we do the setup. Before making the pizza here, it needs to go to 700. So we have two hours. We have two hours to bring this pizza oven to 700. Let's go ahead and let's fire up. Finally made this beautiful setup. Everything is ready. I'm a supercharged. What time is it? What is my phone? It's not even. We are 10 minutes away from 3 p.m. that the event is gonna start. And then let me show you where we are. The most important thing is the pizza oven. So right up right now it's up. It's about a 600, and uh, we are waiting to get to 700 to go ahead and clean and move the wood, clean it up, and they're ready to go ahead and make pizza. So let me show you. This is the pizza dough. It's a. Uh, is it's about to be ready. Actually, it is ready to use. Voila. Then, of course, come with me. This is the pizza dough that we're gonna go ahead and, and make the balls when uh, we finish the dough. So, as soon as we use one, boom, we're gonna make uh, more uh, dough. So, let's see how it is. It's not ready yet. This is because I made the dough with uh, more or less hydration with more salt. So this is gonna be ready in about one hour. And so I can't wait to serve the people. 1,300 people. Okay guys, the oven is about 700. Now we go ahead and clean up everything. So I move uh, all the wood in one side. And now with a wet towel, we go ahead and clean up the bottom of the oven. Flip it over, flip it over, voila. And now we clean up on the side. So we have to clean up really good the side where we're gonna put the pizza. And in this event, we're gonna make a lot of pizza. So we have to clean up the oven really, really good. And there we go. So this one, we save it where is the hot spot because we're gonna go ahead and throw it away. So super important, you go ahead and put a piece of wood on the side. Voila, this way the oven is always hot and up and running. So let's go ahead and let's make a few pizzas and see how it comes up. Guys, make sure to check out uh, my master class. See, you can go ahead and get the phone right now and scan. Good, now you scan, you get a nice uh, uh, discount price link below for a professional master class. Let's make some pizza. We have uh, all the ingredients, we got pecorino, Fresh basil, tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella. So because we're gonna make a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and put three to start. Voila, voila. Okay, now let's stretch. I'm gonna make it super quick and fast. Of course, not too much cross to the pizzas. Press, press, press on the side and voila. There we go. 
take off all the flour, make sure it's not sticky. And now let's go ahead with the tomato sauce. We're gonna start with the three margherita. So one scoop of a nice fresh tomato sauce. All the way on top, voila, boom, boom, boom. Guys, I'm gonna go fast here, I cannot really explain. Voila, now nice and full of uh, pecorino romano. Voila, fresh basil under. There we go, and now fresh mozzarella on top. That's it, nice. There we go. There we go, boom, 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 extra. Voila. Now, a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Voila, let's make one with mushroom. Roasted mushroom, of course. And now, let's go in the oven. Let's go ahead, let's put the pizza in the oven. Nice and big. One. Two and three, let's fix it up. Voila, boom. Now let's cook it. Okay, pizzas are almost to be ready. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch it up a little bit. Drop this in the front, this in the back. Boom, boom, boom. Let's turn it, let's put the white part on top. It's back in the oven. Boom, boom, boom. Voila, this is ready. Left turn it. The goal is to take it out all together. One, two, three. This is ready. Boom. One. Let's say number two, two, and uh, three. Boom, boom, boom. So right now we're gonna place it. Right. We're gonna place it here on the table. One, two, and three. Voila. So. What we do now, now we cut it, two, six, one, two, six, one, two, six, and this one a little bit smaller for the kids, and now what we're going to do is uh, put it there, two, and three, already people start to line up, bye, ready guys, ready, yeah, what are they? Mushroom and cheese pizza for now, and then we're gonna make more. So grab as much you want. Great, thank you. Bye, man. Puoi servire? See, that's what they're gonna do. See, already people line up. So, guys, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, time lapse if I can. I'm gonna start to make a lot of pizzas right now. I have to do the test. Look how light is the dough. Nice. Oh. Hello, here we go. Oh my God. Come on, then. Outstanding pizza. Come on, outside. Ciao, Leo. Let's see what they think, the people. What do you think of the pizza? That's a... wow. <laughs> what do you think of That's this pizza? That's the stuff that I dream about. Oh, Vito. That's it's delicious. Like Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep going. Pino, don't play around with the camera. Pino, we have a lot of things to do. remember the number two dough and then we didn't have any box so right now we finished to make 200 pizzas and we have some dough boxes so in the meantime when we see that it's a little bit slow we go ahead and make some balls so this is the dough we place it right there and we go ahead and we make the balls voila like you can see the dough is full of air nice and uh, we in the meantime remember when it's low you go ahead and make the boss so now go ahead and place it nicely in the box try to get it all if you have space this is it that's enough we can go ahead and make uh, 
same thing. So that's how you go. Hopefully this was a, a good explanation. Let's go ahead, let's finish up this. I recommend when you have a lot of pizzas to make, you have to have at least two pizza makers, at least. By yourself, it's gonna be so hard. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you because here it's getting busy. And uh, I'm gonna get back to you when uh, we're almost done. Ooh. Okay, guys, uh, we're done with the dough. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna put it upside down again, the one that we made. There you go. I close it. And now let it rest for about 30 minutes and the dough will be ready. So, voila, that's all you're gonna do. So guys, quick update. Uh, we got late here and uh, of course we have another party to do. So what I did, take, look at this, how, how I set up the thing here. So what I did, I sent sending my main pizzaiolo, Pino, which is also my camera guy, and uh, uh, with, uh, with a different pizza oven, the pizza dough, and uh, all the second uh, double the ingredients to do the setup uh, at this uh, second catering. And then uh, this guy is gonna drive back. We're gonna close everything here and go run to the second catering to help Pino. So he's going to set up for me and uh, hopefully you guys gonna have uh, so much fun this because this is just the beginning of the night. I'm going back to make the pizzas. Of course, guys, no more spatula because he needed the spatula. And we're gonna go ahead and keep moving here because we still have the line. So we're gonna go with this. That's how important is the spatula. So, and three, done. Voila, let's make the pizzas right away. So now, for real, I'm working everything by myself. I think I'm gonna make another 200, 250 pizzas. I don't know how many we made, so many. I'm gonna get the count at the end of tonight. And then uh, hopefully you guys are still there waiting for me. I will give you a nice update. Fresh in the pizza, boom, boom, boom. Voila, voila, tomato sauce. Fresh mozzarella on top. Put mushroom. Go, 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 bye, bye, bye. So guys, quick update here. I, I just got uh, the notification that we can leave now. So what happened, I called back these guys. I told to come back because we have to go together to the second catering, so we can go together. So right now, we have to close everything. The boss told me, told me that I can close everything. How was the event? Yes, Yay! that's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. I got it, I got it. Well done. One and two. Done. So we can go ahead and close everything and enjoy this time lapse. Six o'clock starts the other catering. It's, uh, it's 17.59. The oven is still smoky. Well, okay, let's go. Six o'clock, exactly on o'clock. Let's call the, the customer. I'm gonna tell her that we are coming a little bit late. Hello. Hello, sir. This is Vito for the pizza. Hey, pizza guy. How's it going? Good, good. good. Yeah, I think we got lost a little bit. Uh, we got uh, an exit okay. wrong. So we're going to be there about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Um, the driveway is open, so you can park in the driveway and while you're unloading stuff. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank bye. you. Okay, bye. Okay, I told him uh, 20 minutes, but it's 27 minutes. <laughs> Italian style. But uh, we're gonna run a little bit. We're gonna run a little bit late. See, we made about uh, 850 pizzas. And because we finished early, I like an hour, about 30 minutes early. In the meantime, that's uh, my favorite food here, tacos. What we're gonna do? That's the life of a restaurant guy. I'm gonna eat now on the way. That's the only time that you have. Restroom, no restroom today. Mm. Those tacos are the best. Wow. 6.35, hopefully this lady is not mad. I think I'm gonna give them a discount because uh, they, they, we are late. I never late usually. Yeah, Everything is live here, yeah. There's the birthday right there. <laughs> Go, check it out with the customer, what do you say? Hey, smile to them, man. Eh? <laughs> you know, smile. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and set up this pizza oven. That's it, boom, voila. Thank you, Davide. And of course, guys, here we got the first thing to do here is uh, we have to fire up this pizza oven again. It's still warm, so it's no problem. I think we're in about uh, 
15, probably 15, 20 minutes. Hold on, let me see. So probably 15, 20 minutes. Ooh, yeah, it's hot. One piece of wood because it's still hot. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, warm up. So close. You say warm up for about 10, 15 minutes, and then it's gonna be easy to fire up. So let me go ahead and then get all the ingredients out. Uh, now, when the oven gets to temperature, like you can see, it fire up right away. And uh, be careful for your face when you do this because uh, it gets inflamed so quick. Now we wait about 700 and we are ready to make the pizza. I feel tired right now. Wow. Voila. Let's make the first pizza for the second party. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. Voila, stretch. I'm gonna make a little bit more fancy, which is uh, whipping cream as a base, mix up with this uh, amazing Sabatino truffle powder. Da -da -da. And then do like a DJ. Di -di 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 -di. Voila. Fresh mozzarella, caramelized onions, not too many, some roasted mushroom. Voila. A little bit of white truffle oil, some pecorino romano. That's it. Now let's go in the oven. Right there. Voila, let's cook it. In the center. Wow. One, two, three. That's it. Take a look of this pizza. Smells good, but I still smell a little bit of truffle. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add this uh, chunk of uh, truffle under oil, just to give a nice flavor. Wow, this onion still really tastes good. So a little bit of this truffle like that. Chunk of truffle is gonna give a nice flavor. If you're interested on this, uh, these products, check out the link below on the cross, guys. No, 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 no. That's we it, done. This is the pizza, the first pizza of the day. Let's see, sound soft and crunchy. That's it, yes. That's what we're looking, that's what we're looking for. Mother, you can go serve this pizza. This is a truffle pizza, more pizzas are coming for the kids there. I'm gonna add the camera, nobody knows. Okay hey guys, now I have to go back to work. We're gonna get ready with a lot of uh, pizzas because these kids are super hungry. So let's go ahead, let's make some pizza. Guys, I almost forgot. I didn't show you the old ingredients. See, this is different. We got zucchini, mushroom, a bunch of uh, uh, fancy ingredients. We got a ragu, pepperoni, of course, fresh mozzarella, potato. We got some uh, prosciutto some uh, capocollo. We have all these fancy ingredients here. I just wanna show you really quick the pizzas. Take it out, take it out, Pino. Ooh, nice, that's the goal that we want on the pizza. Look at this, nice, soft. That's the quality that we have here. The quality, this is potato and the coppata. We got a veggie pizza, nice, crunchy, soft. At the same time, take a look. The bottom, perfect cook, outstanding pizza. <sighs> we keep going, guys. We keep going. Well, guys, I want to quick show you how the dough it holds. Did you see this? <clears throat> this is no yeast, no uh, no fridge, just Polish. Did you see the dough? It's crazy perfect. So this is perfect timing. Guys, oh my god, I'm a super, super tired. Done. So many things to do here. This is all the dough that, all the boxes of dough that we made today. So today we we finished, we ran out of uh, everything. This is the left two pizzas that we made. It's uh, 11 o'clock night. The time that we go home is gonna take uh, about two hours. So maybe we get home at one and I'm super tired. So guys, hopefully you like this video, smash the like. We made this a thousand pizzas. Was not a thousand, maybe it was a 900 pizzas. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. And uh, tell me in the comment if you like this type of videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, bye.